I'm comedian Jermaine Funny Man Johnson. And if you know anything about me, you know I love college football. But it's not just what happens on the field that makes the game so exciting. It's the lifestyle of the fan that has us all looking forward to the most wonderful time of the year. You normally see me on the couch reacting to my favorite team's games, but I wanted to do something a little different this season so I can experience the food, fun, and fandom around the game up close with the fans. Just to experience the must-see sights and sounds of college football and find the best places in town to eat, kick back, and of course, watch some football. This is Fan About Town, the show for the college football junkie like me, who can't get enough of that college football lifestyle. That's the L for a different reason. visit different tailgates so we're taking the gamble rolling the dice and we're here in Stark Vegas Starkville Mississippi LSU versus Mississippi State Bulldogs the game is kicking off in a few hours but right now it's a tailgate fan of our town is home right now Starkville, Mississippi, better known as Stark Vegas. I don't know if my man Isaac might disagree. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How about you? I'm doing good. Where are you from originally? So I'm from Tupelo, actually. Tupelo, Mississippi. So it's about an hour north. And Absolutely. No, I've had so many people like, you're from Tupelo. Why are you an LSU fan? It's simple, because Ole Miss and State suck. Ah, well, that's rough. But how did you become an LSU fan from I, birth? No, actually, I grew up in Ole Miss house. I, I still live with three Ole Miss fans. Yeah. Um, it stemmed back to my elementary school days. Okay. Um, I was placed on the LSU Tigers uh, in Little League Basketball. I didn't know anything about sports, I didn't care. So I was about eight, started watching uh, how the Tigers played, and I just fell in love with their playing style, their tradition, and that's what I was leaving from. Yeah, I give, give, a, give us around a year or a time frame so we know when. 2010-ish. Okay. So about 10 years. Yeah, so Odell Beckham, yeah. those guys those, still there, still yeah. battling out with Alabama. Zach Mittenberg, all that. Yeah, he was okay. <laughs> Starkville tailgating with these great fans. I met one of my fellow Beard brothers here, so it's right. a good day. My I'm man right. Jason, how you feeling, bro? Man, I'm doing good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been a state fan? Oh, man, grew up just loving state. Uh, yeah. Never really went to college with state. Just grew up loving the Bulldogs and uh, couldn't root for the team up north. Yeah. And so, um, you know, just always loved it. Yeah, what part of Mississippi are you from? Meridian. Meridian! My parents actually met in Meridian. Really? Yeah, yeah, right off 2059. I love that little city. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. so how you feeling about the team this year? Y'all kind of rebuilding, or you feel like every the stock is up? How you feeling about it? Well, disappointed. Oh, you know, talk I about mean, it. Last week last week at Tennessee was uh, was heartbreaking, and, and we had planned for years a vacation around that. Yeah. And so, like, of all times, we can go to Knoxville and, and beat Tennessee, and to come out like we did. Um, you know, I still support our coach, right. and uh, I still support our guys. Uh, I do feel like we need some changes going next year, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying head coaching changes, but I'm saying we do need to make some changes, and I just say, uh, man, I'm here today. Got my man, Joe Norwood here. As you can see, he is thoroughly representing for the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Joe, how you feeling about the game today? Uh, we here. <laughs> we fellowshipping, having a good time. That's all that matters. What about the game, though, Joseph? You know, we, we play a game today. We, we hope it. We hope it turns out not. Yeah. 
But well, here's the thing, y'all still got SEC athletes. I know they hungry. I know they're hearing all the rumblings. They saw what the spread is, so if they could pull it out. It's a chance for everything. Absolutely. It's a chance for everything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it, it don't look too good for the home team. Tigers. Go Tigers. Yeah, run the ball. <laughs> Still out here in Stark Vegas, uh, finding LSU fans everywhere. But check out the swag on my man Rusty, though. You know what I'm saying? Look, he got my shirt on. This is for you, ladies, right there. That's for the ladies. I'll unbutton one for you. I'll unbutton one for you, you know? <laughs> but, dog, where you from originally? Uh, Arnaville, Brown, Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, but, I hear. I hear the accent, yeah. man. Yeah, so you, you grew up an LSU yep, fan? Yeah, LSU Tigers. Been, been rolling with them all. Yeah, well, I've been going for them. I ain't been rolling with them. Been going. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I got you. That, that was a little shade. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, I got, I, you. I got you. Yeah, so are you who that nation, too? Oh, who that? All the way, baby. See, this is why I like this guy. Right who that, baby? But college football show, so what are the expectations out here today for, for LSU? Oh, you man. drive down. 56 13 Tigers. So all you day. think it's just going to oh, get bloody? Burrow. All day, baby. Y'all oh, really love Joe Burrow. What, what's the difference between Joe Burrow this year versus previous years? Because this is not y'all first year with him. No, no. Uh, Joe Brady is a who that, baby. Yeah. Saints came down, the Saints, changed absolutely. offense, and really developed Joe, uh, Joe Burrow, you know? Yeah. Y'all have always had the confidence, though, yeah. as LSU oh. fans. Now y'all got the offense, and y'all are just unstoppable yeah. as far as fans are concerned. Yeah. Like, y'all confidence is really high. Yeah. But does it bother you, though, that the defense isn't – up to don't let, usual LSU uh, standards. We score. We don't. They go. We gonna score. You know. But you know you gotta stop yeah, somebody. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta, we gotta stop them. But yeah, we ain't gotta. We only gotta worry about one team this year. You know. That's just what I feel. One? That's what I feel. So that's y'all Super Bowl. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> that's the only thing that can score with us. Okay. Now there's some great fans in the world, but my man Drake and Trent. They're beyond fans. Like, what? That, talk, talk to me about these posters, guys. I'm loving it. Yeah, man, we just we got Garrett Schrader. He's coming out. He's starting. I wanted to give him an extra long beard because that's part of his persona. And we just wanted to make him look good because he's going to look good today against LSU. Yeah, and then one of my favorite movies, The Water Boy. You should recognize this giddy up. He's doing the form of friend right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what, what was, I know the movie was an inspiration, but what, what's your thing going on with Burrow, man? Man, you know, he's having a great year, but he comes out, he's one of them guys that, ah, man, I need a hug, man. It just gets me going. We ain't giving it to him today. We coming out strong. We about them dogs. Yeah, but the, you, you don't think the D-line, they might hug him a few times during this game. Man, they got a good D-line, but we come out strong. Trader with that extra long beard, that's the power. That's the key, man. Yes, sir. Like I said, man, there are fans in Starkville, but Trent and Drake, they're on a whole nother level with it. The sign game is ridiculous. They're, they're too good for game day, okay? But they're just right for fan of our team. Yes, sir. Let's go dogs! In the home of the free Still out here in Stark Vegas. Uh, it's a beautiful sight, beautiful weather, beautiful people, as you can see, Dominique. Alexis, yep. <laughs> they are out here just having a really good time. Are y'all students here? I'm a student. Yeah. She's not. I'm from Louisiana. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So who you rooting for today? Um, stay. I'm torn. I'm torn. Is this your best friend here? This is my little cousin. Oh, your little cousin. Well, you gotta, you gotta support little cousin yeah, today, right? I do. So say, give it, give it in the camera. Hell State, right? Hell State. Hell State. There you go, cuz you owe me right there. So now I see the, I do love the. Can right here. Oh, now that we yeah, do that's love. a big hoot at. Go Saints! A lot of Saints fans out here. Whenever you get LSU fans, you get Saints. So it is what it is. So I know, are you a student? Have you been a Mississippi State fan before you were a student or just? No, my parents were LSU fans, but oh, wow. I decided to go different. So y'all family is just divided. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Still out here tailgating, having a blast. They're getting ready to kick off in just a minute. But when you see the dapper Lynn walking down your street, you gotta stop right there. This is 
This is amazing, that's what this is. Look at that. That's Argyle down right there. So Everything, then, everything's brewing white. Yeah. T talk to us about the motivation behind this outfit. Well, you don't want to stand out. Right. You want people to know that you are for the Bulldogs. Absolutely. And when you show up, we're going in to win. You go in strong. Yeah. Now, the Auburn game, I went in pretty strong, but it didn't last long. <laughs> but you got to go in strong and keep it going. How long have you been a state fan? Since I was uh, 10 years old. Okay, so about 20 years ago. About 20 years ago. <laughs> 46 years. Oh, man. And like 44 of misery. But yeah. we're coming back. Coming back strong. Coming back strong. Always believe. Yeah. Be, anybody can be an Alabama fan. We know. It, it we takes, see. It yeah. takes character to be a Michigan State fan. We're with them every day. If he wants to call it character, that's what we're calling. Char we call it character is what we do. So how you feeling about the Tigers this year, though? Everybody's okay. talking about Heisman, his new so, offense. First off, Joy Burrow will win the Heisman. All right. I mean, I love Tua, don't get me wrong. Good guy. Uh, but I think Alabama's defense is not as good as it has been in the past, and so it's hurting Tua. But I also think Joey's like, hey, this is my senior year. Let's play it, it's, let's play it out. And I see Joe Burrow winning the Heisman, as well as I think our offense is amazing. Like, this is 2007 style LSU football, it seems. Yeah. And I feel like we're going to the natty. So LSU fans feel like this is the year for y'all. But we will see. It's going to be an interesting night. November uh, night, baby. November night. Let's get, this man got it marked oh. in his calendar. He's got it I'll be there, baby. in his chest. I'll be there, baby. November the night. Tuscaloosa. We're yeah. coming. And we ain't backing down. Go Tigers. All right. What do you think uh, Mississippi State is going to do this year? Like, how will they how improve? Are they gonna do? Yeah. I hope they improve. Listen, um, it's it's tough being a Mississippi State fan, but you still got to keep hoping. I'm sure we'll pull it together. Yeah, but y'all got a new coach, so we got time yeah. to, you know, get the system in and get everything in place. Is that the hope? Yeah, I got faith. For? I got faith. <laughs> <laughs> my first yep. time tailgating in Starkville, yep. being here several times. No, no, absolutely not. The, the, since you're bringing up the cowbell, I was going to go another direction, but since you're bringing up the cowbell, what's the history behind this thing, man? Like, let, well, give me, let me borrow that. Yep, so I've never even held one before. It's my first time holding one. Well, really? Well, come on here. Hold it up. I mean, come on, man. Break it down. Come for on. Me. Hold that thing. Shake that thing. Ah. Come on, man. Ah. You're, you're... I don't feel right. It just feels <laughs> feel wrong. So, so the, the story is, is uh, that, and I want to think it was an Ole Miss game. But the story is, we were we were down, mm -hmm. and uh, being an ag school that we are, right up the road here, you can get your Mississippi State cheese and ice cream right, and all that. Right. Cow, Absolutely. Cow came on the field with the cowbell, and um, turned the game around, and uh, and we won, and people started coming out with cowbells. And I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's who we are. So how you feeling about the coach, man? More head, you think he's the, the guy to get it done, take y'all to the next level? I hadn't seen it yet. Ooh, Joe seen being yet. honest, honest today. I hadn't seen it no yet. No politics oh, today. Oh, no, no. We keep it real. <laughs> you might keep have it real. you might have a future in broadcast. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> it's the Stephen A. Smith of Starkville right here. <laughs> what is it that you, about the Mississippi State program that you're hanging your hopes on? What is it that's got you so hopeful? Oh, right now? Yeah. I have no hope today. Oh, I went to Tunica yeah. and bet against the Bulldogs. Oh, wow. I took the parlay, LSU in the points, with the over. Did you hit the parlay? Uh, we'll see today, but I'll tell you what, I am such a rotten gambler, that's yeah. going to guarantee the Bulldog win. Yeah. I bet $100 for the Bulldogs to win. Well, look, my man Lynn, when you see him around a Mississippi State game, you can't miss him. This is what he do. Show him one more time, man. Can we get a Hail State for the camera? Hail State! come to any event where LSU people are going to be and not get some Louisiana seafood. My man's hooking up some jambalaya. It's a whole family of friends. They're Mississippi State fans, but they're all from Louisiana. It's the best of both worlds right there. That's Mississippi catfish, Louisiana jambalaya. You ain't going to get better than that either. They ain't going to get better no than way. that. No way. Let me see what Fan you about town. Hey, you want any more? Oh, that good? Good. Yeah. A little cornbread, and we 
Well, we got a new segment here on the show, Fan okay. About Town, uh, where we ask fans three questions. Let's go. It's called Easy, Tough, and Difficult. You said you've been a lifetime fan, so I'm going to let you choose. What do you want to start with? You want easy, tough, or difficult? We better go with easy because I'm not good at remembering <laughs> names. Tough. You want tough? All right, tough. you want to start in the middle. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to do the tough. Oh, you want to go tough? Right? tough. All right, going to start in the middle. Start in the middle. All right. Let's just knock out the difficult one. All right. You want to go difficult? Let's go difficult. See how these LSU fans do. Which LSU head coach has the most number of wins ever at LSU? Is it Jerry DiNardo, Nick Saban, Charles McClendon, or Les Miles? I got to say Les Miles. I'm pretty sure it was Les Miles. Les Miles, you sure? Yes. It was not Les Miles, was it? Nah. Nah. Young man by the name of Charles McClendon. Okay, yeah. That was my second guess, but. Les Miles. Oh, Charles McClendon oh. would like a word with you, sir. Who was the first black head coach of Mississippi State Bulldogs? Sylvester Croom. Sylvester Croom, Tuscaloosa, Alabama's own. What is the official name, the official name of Mississippi State's fight song? Yeah, don't know that one. Which LSU quarterback is the all-time leader in career passing yards? Is it Zach Mettenberger? Is it Herb Tyler? Tommy Hodson? Or Jamarcus Russell? Zach Mettenberger. Final answer? Final answer. Uh, that's a wrong answer. Hey. All right, Mr. Hobson would like a hey, word with I'm you. I'm young, young me. I'm, a, I'm young, man. Mettenberger. It's Mettenberger. Final answer? Final answer. That's why I didn't pay to be a 2010 LSU fan. It was Tommy Hodson. Okay. What is the name of the official Mississippi State University fight song? Ooh, you got me on this one, I think. What was the last year that LSU beat Alabama in football? 2011. 9-6. 2011, 9-6. Okay. Why, you, why you got that one, though? Why you got to get that one all fast? Yeah, I mean, I was just going to say Hell State. I don't know. It is Hell State. It's a real hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you look real bad. All right. LSU played in what was known as the earthquake game because the crowd was so loud that it registered on the seismic scale. What team were they playing that night? I'm going to say it was Auburn. It was the Auburn Tigers. Still out here tailgating, got the lovely Crystal, the tall Jason. Probably out of frame right now, but I got him here. So we're gonna do easy, tough, difficult a little bit different now. Now Mississippi State fans, they got their cowbells. So I'm gonna ask the question. Whoever rings in first and get the correct answer, we're gonna give them a point. First person of three, they win. All right? All right. Y'all ready? Ready. Let's do this. All right. Who was the first African American coach? Mississippi State Bulldogs. Cruz, the best of Cruz. Oh, we're talking football or basketball? We're talking football. Yeah, he's a basketball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why did you stop the question when she ran the door? She wrong. She wrong. Why, right. You should just stop. Well, that was my little. Okay, right, I don't right. get paid as much as Steve right. Harvey. All right. <laughs> all right. Here we go. This is our tough question. What was the last and only year the Mississippi State football team made it to Atlanta when they won the West Division? 1999. 1998. 1998 is oh, the right answer. Come on, man. They, they, gra they graduated. They graduated. Hold on. Did they play in 99? No, no it would have been in December of 98. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I'm trying, I'm trying oh, to yeah. put your way out. <laughs> here we go. This is, our, this is our difficult one here. What is the official name? The official name. Mississippi State's fight song. Hell, dear old state, my brother, dear Teresa. I didn't say what's the words. What's the name of the song? That's what it is. Hell, dear old state. I got to give a point. It's Hell State. Ah! No, no. Hell state. Oh, you got to give up there, man. <laughs> I'm a real. landslide. Get out of the camera. Gonna... <laughs> it's a landslide, man. Hopefully the team will do better than him. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> Shout out to the Delta. <laughs> Tigers, baby. Go Tigers, man. Found me some LSU fans from Birmingham. Woo! Go Tigers. They, they, they were on me about this sticker. Somebody stuck this on me. I didn't even know it was on there. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got me, though. They got me. They got me. I didn't even know. Had a great time hanging out with all the Bulldog and Tiger fans out here in Stark, Vegas, Starkville, Mississippi. LSU and Mississippi State getting ready to kick off in just a minute. If you want to know where we'll be next week and the rest of the season, <laughs> make sure you follow me on social media at Funny Man. This was Fan About Town. Look at all these beautiful fans. It's almost kickoff time. LSU won the game at the last second, and they call it the Bluegrass Miracle. Who did they play that day? Kentucky. Kentucky Wildcats. I tried to give you the clue. I said the Bluegrass. That's about my 3-0, <laughs> my man. That's the one. Yeah. See, and as a wife would do, she's going to take his win, so Kathy is the winner. You didn't win a thing. Step out of frame. Congratulations, Kathy. You did a great job. Thank y'all. Can we get a go, Tigers? Go, Tigers!